right guys welcome back to half fast 719 first and foremost I'd like to say thank you guys for subscribing thank you for sticking in there for all my stupid videos I make um went to the swap meet this morning today is Sunday and uh, purchased a couple things uh, first I purchased this, well, that's in my mouth. Anyway, um, I bought this, which is this, I'll show you this. So it's brand new, in the package, um, I think these are about, um, 12 bucks. 12 bucks gear wrench, which I already have one, but this one is a uh, hex drive. This one's made by Irwin, and this little rod goes in there. Rod goes in there. I mainly went there to look for uh, some uh, quarter inch drive deep walled. I needed a 13. A couple guys had deep 13s. And they wanted one guy wanted eight bucks for it for you know quarter inch drive 13 eight bucks for it and another guy wanted five bucks for it and I was like nah I'll just wait don't really need a 13 I have a 13 and three eighths so I bought this thing um got that this flashlight, another streamline, streamlight, stinger LED, and a sterling silver dish thing for the wife. She collects those little sterling sterling silver dish things. Um, yeah, so uh, all three of those things were ten bucks. I brought this home, stuck it on the charger, and it wouldn't charge. Wouldn't charge. I took the battery out of this one here, stuck it in here. Nothing. So uh, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I do, but and I fixed it. So what it ended up being, uh, I took this top piece off. I'm not gonna take it apart. It's kind of a pain. You take the top part off. This piece off, and there's a little disc in there. You take a pick, you spin it out, and then you undo these two screws. And this little internal thing, it's kind of like this, I guess. This thing comes out, and there's a spring. The positive spring, and there's a uh, release, an eject spring, I guess you can call it. Anyway, this spring was super corroded, so I took some emery cloth and cleaned it up, and there's no spring on the back, but I installed a little spring from here, as you can see, that one right there. This side right here is supposed to have a spring, I took it off, and stuck it on there, and I'll show you. I don't know if it needs a spring, but that's what I tried first. Because there's a little hole. And uh, I just figured, oh, well, probably needs a spring. But, so I stuck a little spring on there. And then inside there, if you can see or not, there's two springs in there. One goes on the outer outer of this edge and then one goes inside so the outer edge one I'm assuming is for the negative um which let me see let me take this spring out I just put that spring in there let's see so it does need be put in 
It's weird, this little thing is just like a piece of felt in the center. So, I took it, tightened it, and it works. Yeah! And this, is, this battery is from the one I had up here. That one works as well. So if that one charges, that one charges, but this battery is already charged. So I bought all that stuff for 10 bucks. So I got another Stinger flashlight, this piece, and the other little decorative thing. And then I bought two, because they call them gators. I thought they were called guitars for some stupid reason, because of the way they spell them. Um, basically, they're tubes, tube gators that go over a face mask. So when I fly, um, yeah, and then I went and got some breakfast for the kid and me, and I went to AutoZone. Gotta say, if AutoZone says they don't have something, make sure you guys look for yourselves. Don't trust them. They're a bunch of, bunch of boneheads. They don't really know anything. So, uh, I went there and asked them if they had a, uh, I see why the noise is being made over there. Um, I went in there because I did a while back. I did the rear or the front diff bearings. All right. So the noise is bugging me. I don't know what it is. But anyway, I did uh, the front diff bearings, the races, the bearings, everything, and I was looking for. Um, it's a thing to check the preload on a pinion. So basically it's inch pounds. So it's kind of like a, anyway, I'll show you what I ended up buying. But I asked the lady if they had one at AutoZone and she said, no, we don't have those without even looking. And I said, all right, well, I'm just gonna look. And she's like, oh, okay. So I was just like, whatever, she's dumb. And uh, so basically, it's quarter inch drive. You stick it on your pinion or whatever you're trying to see how much load it takes. And uh, like I said, this is inch pounds. So we have 80, up go goes up to 80 inch pounds. You can do Newton meters up to nine Newton meters. Quarter inch drive. And... Uh, <clears throat> so add that to my collection of gauge stuff. Um, basically, it's a I guess rolling rolling resistance, if you want to call it that. So you put it on your pinion, on um, where the drive shaft goes, uh, the whatever yoke, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, you stick it on there, and then you rotate it, rotate it, and you just look at how much resistance it has, if it has, um, I don't know, I think what my truck called for was 45 inch pounds of resistance, of uh, preload, so um, I ended up doing it with, uh, with a tiny torque wrench, this little one, and I kept going around, going around, and then it would click, but anyway, it was kind of a pain in the butt. So she said she didn't have anything like that. I looked and it was in a bin like this. So if you don't know what you're looking for, if you don't have time to look, just look. I also asked if she had brake grease and she's like, yeah, I got all kinds of brake grease. And all she had was little packets and I was like, well, do you have a tube, a tube or something, a tub of it? And she goes, no, we don't carry any of that. I walked back there where brakes brake clean and stuff was and got some brake some brake lubricant um, for caliper slides all contact points anyway I've been needing some of this and uh, wanted to get some because the uh, the brakes for project crack pipe 
the brake pads, hardware, everything that I ordered, it didn't come with any grease. And uh, I had to dig through a junk drawer and finally found a little pack. I actually found two packs. Um, both were open. But anyway. So don't trust what those dummies say at AutoZone. Sorry if I'm not really meaning to call her a dummy, but just to straight up say, no, we don't carry that without saying, oh, I don't know, you can look for it over there, or or uh, let me go look for you, or, you know, she didn't even check in the thing. Um, so, I don't know. But this is called a deflection beam torque wrench. So, you know, you got forward and reverse. Um... Anyway, she didn't even want to look for it, and I said, well, if I find the part name, or the name, can you look it up? And she goes, oh, we can't really look up tools. And I just said, all right, I'll look for it. Anyway. So, yeah, another good experience from the AutoZone. Um, anyway, that's all I got. Went to AutoZone for that stuff. Found the beam, the little, whatever you want to call it, resistance torque wrench, deflection beam torque wrench, is what I'm going to call it. And, uh, yeah, there's a part number. Two, five, four, three, nine. So, found one. It works, I guess. It will work if I have to do bearings again or if I have to do anything but uh figure I was looking for one at the swap meet and uh couldn't find one so that's all I got uh I got some stuff coming in on my off days I fly out tomorrow I get the Y pipe tomorrow get some more face mask crap tomorrow um and uh yeah I had to order pants I had to order pants on eBay because uh went to Tractor Supply to buy some Wranglers. I wear Wrangler Cowboy Cut Original, Original Fit. Um, and I used to get them at Walmart for, I think it was like 19 21 bucks a pair. And now Walmart doesn't carry them. I've been to the two Walmarts we have out here. Went to the Walmart in Wisconsin. And nothing. So ended up finding them on eBay for twenty three bucks a pair. So ordered five pair pants. Um, but yeah, anyway. Look at Project Crack Pipe. Look at that beast. It's sitting low. I'm liking it. I'm liking how low it is. So. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. My little uh, shopping haul, if you want to call it. Swap me. Shopping haul. And, uh, of course, i got a mess to clean up in the garage. So, I think, I'm thinking next, my next off cycle, I'm going to be driving Project Crack Pipe. Alright. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. You guys know a better name of what this is called? Let me know. Alright, thanks for watching. Later.